Hey there everybody in YouTube land, uh, BrewTube, or if you like to brew, you're here with us today. I'm Sean for the Canadian Brew Channel. This is my brother-in-law Steve. Hey How's everybody. Hey, he's here to help us do a tasting today. Yes. We are going to taste a local brew place that just opened up about a month ago. And the name of this stuff right here is Chicken Man. Not going to go into it too much about the Chicken Man in Georgetown, but if you are watching this and you're from Georgetown, you've been here more than about 15, 20 years, you will know who the Chicken Man is. It was actually this guy who used to pedal his bike around in the 80s and 90s with a chicken on his back of his bike and on the front of his bike. And the legend says that he still runs today. We haven't seen him in a long time, so enough I digress. This here is an IPA. This IPA has a an IBU of 30, was it 35? Yep, 35. I've had it before, Steve has not had it, so I want his info on this, his input on what he thinks of this beer. So here's your beer, Steve. Thank you. Another shout out I'm gonna give to the uh, Urban Winery and Craft Brewing Supplies right there that I like to go to in Guelph, right by Victoria Street and Highway 7. What do you think about the packaging, Steve? That's pretty interesting. It's uh, it's a little bit evocative because it's local history. Yeah. And anyone from around here would know about this guy. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah that's very cool. I like how they they did it. Also, to it's for the older the people, the generation of we say the old Georgetown people. Anyone who's been here less than ten years would be what's a chicken? <laughs> <laughs> so let's pour ourselves a glass here. So they opened up about a month ago, and uh, they're right in uh, Georgetown, right in the, uh, the train station parking lot on the south side. The first thing I see there, it's got a nice little head on it. Yeah, it's nice color. Yep, nice and clear. A little bit of a haze, but a little cloud. Yeah, but that's, a little bit, that's but good. That's more uh, flavor. Yeah, IPAs, <laughs> IPAs are not supposed to be straight through no. clear either. Go smell it. That's nice. Yep, you smell that. There's like a sweet, a little bit of a sweetness on the nose. There's no, not really a fruitiness, but the hops come through. That's really nice. I'm going in for a dive. Cheers! Cheers! Oh, hey, yeah. what do you think of that? It's nice and smooth, and you start, and you get that that nice IPA. Bitterness along the side. Yeah, of the tongue as down it goes the side, down. the tongue goes down. Beautiful. And it, it holds on a little mm -hmm. bit. Yeah. But it doesn't overpower you. No. It doesn't it's... make you pucker up like you just you just drink a, a, a gallon of uh, lemons or it, it's it's not like a Dane line head. Yeah. <laughs> you know, no, it's very good. That, yeah. That's uh, very awesome. So, yeah, I, I, my wife likes these, unfortunately. <laughs> she's she's been drinking them. Yeah, I mean, some of you guys out there are like, oh, my wife hates IPAs. She only likes like, you know, uh, lagers, Canadian things like that. But unfortunately, my wife does like my beer, so it's a good thing though because when I spend money on this hobby, <laughs> she's okay with it. that's and that's good. That's right. Don't be fighting over that. Yeah, this is a, when I first tried one of these. I'd actually they have a Kolsch, and they have this IPA. And they had a red ale that I tried, and the fourth one I think was a stout wasn't ready yet. So when I tried this one, I tried it after the Kolsch. Um, I should have tried the Kolsch first. Mm. Or sorry, I did I tried after the Kolsch, but it was almost like well, it wasn't it was quite ready for it yet because yeah. the Kolsch is nice and <clears throat> nice and clean and crisp. And they did a really good job on their Kolsch. You got to try their Kolsch if you haven't tried it. And that is the furnace room. I don't know if I mentioned that the furnace room in Georgetown, Ontario. So it's shout out for those guys. Good job. Keep it local. Buy local. Absolutely, absolutely. Now this, I've had a couple of recent IPAs, local IPAs, not from uh, the furnace room, but this one is uh, a little smoother than the last yeah. ones I've had. It's not quite as uh, quite as shocking. It doesn't leave Harsh that the huge tongue, aftertaste. Yeah, some it of them hold on. This 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 kind of just goes away after. Yeah. It. It's really nice. Well, that's what it's I like really nice on a good smooth. IPA, right? They. Uh, some people like that harsh hold on their on their palate, but I find <laughs> that it, it you deaden your tongue uh, if it's really strong. With fifty, I've had some that are sixty, and you're like, well, <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, it's good, isn't it? And I'm like, you're a hophead. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know if you know that you've heard that term before, hophead. Yep. Yeah, oh, yeah, people that love like tons of hops, 
very bittering hops. Um, but it has a like, nice sweet smell to it. It I, does. I it don't does. smell a tart a tartness to it. No. It's it's very clean. It's very ah. good. <clears throat> yeah, I could drink that all day. Yeah. <laughs> this is definitely a beer that I think I could drink in the summer, fall, mm. winter, and spring. Because <laughs> I've had there's there's you know, there's some beers that are so smooth that you could drink them. In the summer, but in the winter, you're kind of looking for something different, like a stout or a yeah. porter. Yeah, yep, something this a little year, more grip to it. Yep, <clears throat> it, because of that bitterness. It's right in the middle there. It's nice. It is. It's yeah, yeah. It, it's really good. It is very good. Sorry, guys, but uh, they don't have taste vision yet, but <laughs> or smell vision. But this is this is really good. Um, I, I I definitely think that you got to pick this up, and try it out if you're in the Georgetown area. Because this is a new brewery, they're, they're they're nowhere in any of the stores. I don't think yet. You got to go to the source. <laughs> yeah. right? I I would recommend this one. Definitely recommend this. Like it's a thumbs up. <clears throat> thumbs up. I'll be taking this up to the cottage this summer. That's for sure. All right. Awesome. We've got another one. Hooked on it. All right. So that's uh, that's the taste testing of the chicken man. Uh, there's gonna be more videos that I'm gonna post up here. We're gonna be doing. There we are. My raspberry sour is going to be next, my own personal raspberry sour, and we may even do another taste testing. I've got a Russian Imperial Stout that we, is a little young, but we may try that also. We may have a second guest coming in. There'll be three of us crowded around this table, but that's okay because that's what you do when you drink beer, you cry around the table. <laughs> so this is Sean signing off for the Canadian Brew Channel with my brother-in-law, Steve. Have a nice day. See you later, guys. <laughs>